There's only one place a complaint of this kind could be, the National Archives. I am requesting that the Secretary of State ask of uh, the Senate ask the archives to identify any record of the complaint she alleges she filed. If there was any such and complaint, the record will be there. So what you just heard there was a clip of Joe Biden and Mika Brzezinski on Morning Joe earlier this morning on MSNBC. And there Mika Brzezinski is outlining Joe Biden's position which is that if there's a complaint lodged by Tara Reid, it would be in the National Archives and it wouldn't be in his personal Senate papers located at the University of Delaware. And you guys know that I made a video on this broad interview earlier this morning. And in general, I'm pretty happy with that video. But this is something that I missed and that I think a lot of us missed at first glance that somebody actually went and asked the archives if they would have this file, and it turns out they wouldn't. If you go on Twitter right now, Nicole Einbinder, she's a reporter, says the following, quote, Joe Biden said that Tara Reid's complaint could only be at the National Archives, at what was then called the Office of Fair Employment Practices. But a National Archives spokesperson told me that they do not hold records from that office. Instead, a Senate Historical Office staffer said the Fair Employment Practices records are governed by a Senate resolution mandating that, quote, records containing personal privacy, information closed by statute, and records of executive nominations are closed for 50 years. That staffer said that rules for filing a complaint to the Office of Fair Employment Practices were complicated and that it was possible that a staffer attempting to do so without proper guidance may not have taken the necessary steps to get an investigation started. According to congressional testimony from 1995, 479 people contacted the office between 1992 and 1995 seeking assistance. Of those, only 102 entered the office's five-step dispute resolution process, which included a formal complaint and hearing. If Reed's complaint was filed to the Office of Fair Employment Practices, the record will remain closed until 2043, more than two decades from now. And the reason I read all of that out, word for word, was because it underlines that Joe Biden is misleading you. At best case, Joe Biden himself was mistaken, but I really do think he's trying to distract people from his own personal papers to suggest that if there's any documentation, it's with the National Archives. When the National Archives itself says that we don't have such papers, and insofar as they might exist, they won't be available until 2043, and so, Joe Biden is trying to pull the wool over your eyes, my eyes, everybody's eyes by making it about one piece of paper, when really it's about the broad patterns. Everyone's focusing on this quote-unquote official complaint, and I'm sure to say that if we found it, it would be big news. But just because it might not be there doesn't mean the story goes away. Tara Reid might have launched a complaint, and as that tweet chain notes, it might not have been formally archived. Tara Reid might have launched a complaint, and the paper might actually be in the Delaware office because Joe Biden is lying to us. Tara Reid might have launched a complaint, a piece of paper was created, and lo and behold, it was destroyed by somebody trying to protect Joe Biden. All of these things are possible. None of those things are guaranteed to have happened, but they're all possible, and I think we have to keep that in mind. There is a drive right now to basically say that if we can't find this one piece of paper, this one formal complaint, then Tara Reid is lying and Joe Biden is innocent, when I can think of nothing further from the truth. If there's an official complaint, that's bad for Biden, but I don't believe it's bad for Tara Reid if there isn't, given what we know. And it underlines again why the University of Delaware papers for Joe Biden are so important, because those are papers most directly connected to Joe Biden. And as Nicole Einbinder notes Tara Reid saying, it's not just about the formal complaint. Tara Reid says there were various meetings about this. There were various meetings about vacation days and interpersonal office issues. And those could well be found within the Biden papers. It's not just about one particular document or one particular formal complaint or one particular formal procedure. It's about anything that can contextualize 
Tara Reid's credibility. And the best place to find that stuff is in the papers at the University of Delaware, not at the National Archives, like Joe Biden is saying. So Joe Biden lied to us or Joe Biden doesn't know what he's talking about. Maybe a bit of both. This just goes to show that the interview raises more questions in some ways than it answered. We didn't get a whole lot of answers. We got a whole lot of excuses. We got a whole lot of misinformation. We got a whole lot of questions and answers that maybe we've already heard before from the other sources in and around Tara Reid and the work that journalists like Ryan Grimm and Katie Halper and Rich McHugh have already done, but we didn't get any real answers. I really do feel that Tara Reid's story is credible, independent of a formal complaint document. But at the very least, someone needs to go through the Biden records, someone independent from his campaign and from other political campaigns, to do a thorough search for anything referencing Tara Reid, whether it's about her work, whether it's about the complaint, whether it's about the follow-up to her complaint, was there formal records of her discipline, was there formal records of her job role switching around, was there a meeting between Biden and Tara Reid about the incident, were there informal notes taken? If those things exist, they're with Biden's papers. Let's look at them. If Joe Biden says he has nothing to hide, certainly I think it's appropriate to do a limited search for Tara Reid's specific things in his files. But here's the thing. I don't expect we're going to do that because Joe Biden did it and he wants to hide the truth from you, from me, and from every single person.